Hi everyone, I am back with another haul and it feels like I haven't done a fashion haul for such a long time. Um, I did mention that I was in a bit of a saving mode and I think I've been doing pretty well. Um, and the next few items that I will show you are just a collection of things I've bought since I've done my last haul. So if you're interested, then please keep watching. So before I get into the items that I purchased myself, um, I just wanted to um, show you a couple of items that were sent to me. And firstly, it is this really, really cute iPhone 5 phone case. And this was sent to me by blingcases.com. And they have lots and lots and lots of phone cases, not just for the iPhone, but for other types of phones as well. And this particular one here um, costs $19.95. Um, it is free shipping if you're in the US, which takes about two to five days. Otherwise, uh, it's a flat rate of $6.95 for international shipping, which I think is quite good. Uh, now, I do recommend blingcases.com if you're that real typical girly girl that loves your phone cases with like lots of diamantes or like cutesy stuff um they definitely have lots and lots of those this is really cool i didn't even realize until i received it that it's also a mirror so you just swivel it out and it's a mirror as well which is really convenient i personally think i'm a little too old to be using a phone case like this but i still love it and i would use it probably on the weekend uh, just a word of warning though, if you do end up purchasing a phone case with one of these hard things at the back, it is a bit hard to take off because the case doesn't um, bend as easily when you take it off. But, you know, it's not stuck there, you can take it off. It's so cute with a little mirror and the bunny rabbit, so that's that. And the next two items are from Romway.com and I got this vest here and when I saw it online I just absolutely just fell in love with it. Um, it's quite a long vest and I have filmed an outfit of the day with this but I haven't put it up yet but when I do I will link that somewhere here. Um, and I just really really love this. I think it's really unique. Um, it's quite a heavy vest. Um, this would be perfect for like autumn, winter um, and if you're short like me then um, I would recommend wearing leggings with it. It's like the perfect piece to wear leggings as pants um, if you wanted to do that because it covers everything at the back and, um, and at the front and everything so you just wear something like a long sleeve. Um, top underneath just something basic because this is definitely a statement piece on its own and this piece here is $75 I'm not sure if it's still available on runway, but they do have other vests as well So yeah, I really really love that the other piece that I got from runway I did Instagram it because I wasn't sure if I should get it and so many of you guys said that I should um, and it's this gold bomber jacket and it you can see that it's like really really gold and um, from the picture I just I thought I didn't know it was going to be this gold I thought there would be I don't know I don't know why I didn't expect it to be this out there when I got it but um, when I received it I was like wow that is definitely a statement piece um, you will definitely get stared at on the street if you wore this um, which is not necessarily a bad thing, of course. I think this is the type of item that you would wear um, only if you're confident wearing it and you don't mind people staring at you. Um, I would definitely wear this. I really do like it, um, but I haven't worn it just yet. And this one is $53 on the website. Now, the next few items are items that I actually bought with my own money. And the first one is from ASOS. And I saw this dress because I was sort of helping my friend shop around for a dress to wear for a wedding. But then I ended up buying it myself. And this was about $22 or $23. As usual, I'll put all the details down below. Um, and I really, really love this. The color is beautiful. And I'm actually going to wear it to a wedding myself tonight. Um, I bought this in a size 8 and it ended up being too big for me. More so around here. It just like flaps around. So... Um, I've bought some Hollywood tape so that I can stick this part down um, and I think I can still get away with it. It's a tulip dress and it's just really flattering. It looks amazing on and at the back it's actually, it goes down 
quite low as well which means I'll probably wear like chicken fillets rather than a bra because otherwise you'd see the bra behind but yeah, so I think that was a really good price. So I was in Sorrento recently and I went into a local boutique there and I bought a couple of items. And the first thing I got, I am absolutely in love with, and it's this gorgeous blue maxi dress. And this was actually $65, um, which I would usually not pay for, for something like this. Um, I'll just stand up so you can see the rest and for once I'm not wearing PJ pants. Um, so that's it there. Now the two reasons why I ended up buying it. Um, first being it's a maxi dress that actually fits me lengthwise and that hardly ever happens for me. So when I saw it I thought well I should get it because I never get to wear maxi dresses otherwise because I'm actually very short. I'm only 156 centimeters tall or short um, and so I bought this and also because I was you know out on a road trip and I sort of just bought it out on a whim and this was from a local boutique called Chameleon and from the same boutique I bought this belt and this is a leopard print belt which I already do have a leopard print belt but this one has a really cute little bow as well so you just put it on like that and I could wear it with this dress or I could wear it with lots of other things so I got this as well and this was $12 and while we're on the topic of belts I actually picked up this belt as well from Valley Girl and this was only $6.95 and I bought it because it looks like it could be a vintage belt it's sort of like a vintage inspired belt with gold hardware so I snapped this up and the original price was only $9.95 anyway. Now for those of you who watch my hauls regularly, you would know that I love Kmart. I'm definitely a fan of Kmart. And I bought this black dress um, from Kmart and it was only $15 down from $29. And I bought it more so to wear to work because I don't really have many sort of summer things that I could wear to work. Um, so yeah, I just thought this would be a really easy thing to wear. And while I was at Kmart, I also got these pair of floral denim shorts. And um, these were $15. I'm not super wrapped with them, to be honest. I kind of just bought it because I felt like buying something. Um, which is really bad, I know. Um, but I don't mind it. Um, yeah. Now last week I went shopping at Harbour Town and they actually have a Tempt um, outlet store there which is really really good because Tempt is already really cheap and if you go to the outlet store then it's pretty much just bargains galore and it's a pretty big store too. So I picked up a few items and the first one is this crochet skirt which you probably can't see because of the lighting. Um, and I was actually not sure if I should get this or not because I already have a crochet pair of shorts so I mean it's really similar but I just thought since it's only $9.95 um, I picked that up anyway. The other thing I picked up is this crochet top and I just think it's really really pretty. Um, this would look really cute just with like a cute little pair of shorts or even with like a long maxi skirt. Um, and tucked in this will look gorgeous and this was only $6.95 um, it was down from $19.95 and I bought it in a small rather than an extra small because I wanted it to be a bit loose and finally from Tempt I bought this basic black dress which has an exposed zipper that goes all the way down and I got this because it was only $6.95 and I thought um, down from $19.95 and I thought it would be another easy dress to wear to work um, Although I do not have a flat enough stomach to wear this, so I would probably wear, um, like, what, what's those underwear called? Like the Nancy Gans. You know what I'm talking about, those slimming underwear underneath. Um, which I do have a pair, but I haven't worn them yet. And I also bought some nail polishes um, from ozsell.com, um, and they're all Essie nail polishes, and they were $7 each, which is a lot cheaper than if we were to buy in store here, because it's actually $20 from Maya. Um, so the colours that I got were Bikini Sotini, French Affair, Clutch Me If You Can, 
ladylike. And the delivery was... I don't remember how much. And I also bought a nail polish, which is the Nicole by OPI nail polish and this was $14.95 and I bought this one because it had little heart shaped glitters in it and I haven't actually used it yet so I'm not sure how effective this actually is but um, I will most likely Instagram this when I do put it on my nails so follow me on Instagram if you're not following me already which is Love Chic Styling. I also bought this spiked bracelet from Sports Girl and this was on sale um, from $12.95 down to $7.95 and then with a further 30% off. I also bought a pair of sunnies from Dottie and it's sort of like the round uh, circle shape but not really. Um, I don't really um, think that the circle shape really suits me so I think this was um, $15 or something or maybe even less than that. And finally I was at Victoria's Secret at the airport and I picked up this body mist and or fragrance mist and this is in white cotton and pink lily and it smells really really nice but I am the type of person that would use only one perfume and that is Issey Miyake um, but I bought this one anyway just for the sake of owning a fragrance from Victoria's Secret. So that concludes my whole video. I hope you enjoyed watching that. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, which is Love Chic Styling, or you can also follow me on Twitter, which is Joey86. I also have a blog, so please check that out. It's lovechicstyling.com, and I will see you in my next video.